Hello everyone, my presentation is a robot for examining infected patients. I'm from Tsinghua University. This video first provides an introduction to the COVID-19 robot developed at Tsinghua University. This has been reported by Reuters, so a film clip of that report is shown next. Following, functional demonstrations of the procedures the robot can execute are shown, and finally, clinical trials and lessons learned are explored. The project was the initiative for fighting this novel coronavirus. The project started as January 24th, that is the Lunar Union. It is sponsored by Tsinghua University as an emergency response to the pandemic. The robot is for doing doctor's work in isolated wards. It has three operation models, teleoperation, autonomous, and their combination. In addition to examining patient conditions, it can also do such jobs as deliver, distribute, and click goods. This robot has a six degrees of freedom arm, four sensor, gripper, chassis, and a platform for carrying medical devices and goods. Here is the video made by Reuters. A robotic arm on wheels could be a critical tool in the fight against the coronavirus. The robot can perform mouth swabs, temperature, and even listen to your heartbeat. Doctors don't need to be in the same room. They could even control it from a different city. That's according to the robot's designer, Tsinghua University professor Zheng Gangtie. Doctors are very brave, but this virus is just too contagious. So using robots to perform the most dangerous tasks, especially now that the situation abroad is getting similar, is actually very important. The idea came to Zheng around the start of Chinese New Year. By then, the outbreak had already gotten very serious, and many health workers were getting infected. Several have even died from the virus. The robots use the same technology as space stations and lunar explorers. Initially, they worked almost entirely on their own. They could even disinfect themselves after interacting with patients. However, Zheng soon learned that even robots cannot replace doctors. The feedback from doctors was that it would be best not to be fully automated because there must be a person there next to the patient to comfort and calm them. Professor Zheng says one robot is already in Wuhan, the outbreak epicenter. Doctors there will get robot training, and if all goes to plan, it will help with real virus patients starting this week. Now, the team demonstrates the functional capabilities of the robot in a laboratory setting. First, temperature taking. The robot locates the face through computer vision. Then, using a non-contact infrared thermometer, takes the temperature. This is an example of throat swab sampling. The robot arm grabs the throat swab and sends it near the bite block of the patient. Then it moves the swab axially through the bite block into the patient's throat without touching the interior of the bite block. The arm moves the swab to rub the wall of the throat, taking surface samples, and it retrieves the swab, dropping it back to its test tube container. Finally, Force sensing and teleoperation through the joystick are demonstrated to show precise remote human control. Now we add in the force feedback. Now testing the translational movement of the robotic arm. See how it follows the movement of the hand. Now we Change the mode and test the gimbling of the robotic arm. Notice how the arm moves with the joystick input. This is a clinical trial with medical doctors. This is a scenario of uh, ultrasonic examination performed by the robotic arm. Ultrasonic examination is considered as an important method for monitoring the lung condition since CT examination is harmful to health. The doctor used joystick and you can see the doctor is adding liquid coupling. You can see the robot move very smoothly on the body surface.
these videos and the pictures we are taken from Data Hospital and Wuhan Union Hospital when the robot was going inside the isolated wards. Uh, this video was taken from Data Hospital. The computer served as the control station. This is inside the Wuhan Hospital. This is a video taken inside the isolated ward when the robot doing supersonic examination while infect the patient. Currently, the robot is still being tested in Beijing Ditan Hospital. Ditan Hospital is a major hospital for treating infected patients in Beijing. From this project, we learned a lot. First of all, our society is actually not ready for robot doing examinations among patients. Patients also do not like the idea of being examined by a robot. Therefore, we only examine the critical ill patients because they are in sleeping state. Another troublesome problem is to train medical doctors to operate the robot. Some physicians have problems with hand-eye coordination, maybe more seriously, nearly all medical devices are not designed for the robot. We have to modify some existing devices so that they can be operated remotely. One more thing is that the mobile signal in many ICUs is weak as ICU is negative pressurized. They are totally sealed. From this research project, we have a pile of byproducts. Auscultation when doctors wear protective clothing and the remote auscultation for those patients that are being safe isolated in home. This video was taken in Wuhan Union Hospital. People in the videos are in fact the patients. From this video, you can see how the system is working. This system also has a function of recording the result for later analysis. This is a website for free downloading the software. With the software and following the instruction, one can easily assemble a long-distance auscultation system, especially for one in the state of safe isolated home. Auscultation is an effective way of monitoring the lung condition. As you know, lung symptom is the most important feature of an infected patient. Thank you very much for your attention, and I wish all of you stay healthy.